Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today we got a whole lot of news to get into, May. Stop rolling your fat doobies around, guys. Clench your butt cheeks, put your seat belts on, because we got the PlayStation Concord situation. We also got Sweet Baby Inc. They're trying to cancel the Black Myth Wukong, okay? We talked about it not long ago. We also got the Mecha Break situation, and there's a whole lot of disasters to get into, okay? Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders, because Sickers are not stopping. So we ended up getting mecha break, right? And this is what's going on, man. This is what's going on. So Sickers are having big time with the, the character creation. We're gonna actually get into it. We're gonna be diving right into this one here. We also got PlayStation lays out Concord live service roadmap commits to at least three seasons. Sickers don't even want to play the game for three three days, man. For three minutes, even. Like, what what y'all be doing? Shout, shout out to the homie, Dr. Disaster, roll it. Disaster, and would you like to know how clueless and out of touch the developers of Concord are? I'll tell you. They are so stupid that they scheduled the release of their first season of extra content at the same time that this year's Call of Duty is releasing. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. You dumb bastard. I don't like, know if it's crazy. arrogance, ignorance, or flat-out retardation causing them to believe that they can go head-to-head -head with Call of Duty Black Ops 6. But let me just dispel any delusions of grandeur these morons seem to be suffering from. This game is an absolute failure from top to bottom. So spectacularly wretched that it's entertaining to watch it fail and almost impossible to take our eyes off it. To make matters worse, uh. these bozos just announced a commitment to at least three seasons of DLC in total, meaning that they are committing to spending resources to maintain the servers all the way until about next summer which is ridiculous considering i suspect they will hardly need these servers this summer i guess yeah. this is the price they pay for trying to pander to the suckers don't even want to play the game for three minutes and y'all suckers are planning out like three three seasons that's that's crazy and they're looking to drop it when black ops 6 comes out oh man the, this is gonna this di this is different kind of stupid man they they couldn't even get three thousand people playing the game on on steam i mean brad like this is a big brad woke crowds by Wait making these butt ugly characters hey baby see anything you like no, oh hell no i'm out of here <laughs> we are so screwed <laughs> yeah shout out to uh, shout out to dr disaster he's gonna do that dance okay let me actually skip it to this part here i right, roll it their live service roadmap which takes place over the next year and it gave me a good laugh i'm sure that they made this blueprint well in advance of their beta being released to the public but you would think that if any of the people behind this had brain one hiding behind their slack jawed faces that they would see how shitty yeah. their beta went they yeah look at that man look at that bro this is what i'm talking about man they, these suckers couldn't even get three thousand people playing the game and, and they want they already got like three seasons planned for a damn homie would we'll see how low I, I i respect the dedication though okay that that one I, I i i i respect the dedication though the player turnout was and they would decline to commit to damn near a whole year of content yeah i know they already have done the legwork on developing the new content but in my mind it is staggeringly asinine to commit to running the servers for this long we all know that this thing is going to be a ghost town so why waste money on something that is going to fail they seem to be suffering from the sunk cost fallacy. They're too afraid to stop investing in something that they've sunk money into, I guess. But what has Maybe. me really chuckling is the thought that these brainiacs decided to release the first of their DLC in October, right when Call of I, I gotta respect them, man. I gotta respect the hustle, bruh. I gotta actually say this, uh, like, damn, homie. They, they are doing everything they can for the modern audience, and yeah, I guess the modern audience deserves this, right? The modern... The, the three seasons for modern audience guys for modern audience man duty comes out i mean it isn't exactly a secret that call of duty is coming out at that time it does it every year but this brand new first person shooter concord these new kids on the block thought they would put out new content at about the same time as the kings of the first person shooter call of duty and i can tell you right now that this ain't gonna go the kings <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, okay, but, but I know what he means. I know what he means, but let's be real. They're not the kings of Call of Duty or First Person. They're the kings of... Stupid. That's, that's where we at right now, bro. Oh, well. I mean, to top it off, this is one of the years where Call of Duty is releasing a new Black Ops title. That's one of yeah. the most popular versions of Call of Facts. Duty, hence Facts. the fact that this is now the sixth time that they've gone back to it. If you thought the launch was bad, if you thought the launch of the beta for Concord was bad, and the upcoming launch of the game itself, just wait until they release the first wave of DLC. That shit is going to be more ignored than a Rosie O'Donnell OnlyFans. But here's what I would have done if I were them. In order to try to salvage the game, I would have announced a change of plans. I would have said, hey, instead of charging people 40 bucks to play this game, 
game. We're free. making it free Make to play. It free. And then I would have released all the DLC right away, but locking a bit of it behind a paywall, hoping and praying that somebody out there actually liked Concord well enough to actually pay something for some skins or something. Or hey, yeah. here's an idea. How about they design a curvy female character that players can use for a couple of bucks? Or if you want to go for broke, design a character creation mode and let people go wild like they're doing with Mecha Break. Charge a few bucks to unlock a character. Uh, and this is what he means when he says, uh, what's going on with Mecha Break? Like, this is what Sekizar are doing. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> this is, oh my god, this is what's good, oh man. Damn. Yeah, to be honest, though, they just need character creation tool. And to be honest, all the criticism, mostly all the criticism that they're getting right now, would be squashed. Like, that's a fact. Like, I do agree with them on this Character one. creation mode, and let them choose whatever moves they want to accompany the character that yeah. they created. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. would then allow them to use appealing characters, as opposed to being forced to use the butt-ugly ones that the Concord mm. designers made. Mm. But the most important part of all this would be to acknowledge that they screwed up. As developers, these guys should clearly say, hey, this wasn't the best idea, and we can see that you guys don't care for what we're doing, so we are rolling with the punches and changing. The problem is that these people- I, I, I mean, listen, man, we're talking about these companies that call gamers toxic and problematic do you really think they're gonna apologize to us the so-called toxic and problematic gamers yeah oh you want a good game oh you don't want woke stuff in game you're toxic you're problematic oh you don't want microtransactions in your game you're toxic you're problematic okay that's what's going on you don't want the friendly 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 then you're toxic and all that. Let me hide the friendly UAV online right there with my, my non-existing dog right there. But but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like you just, just say you want a good game. You're considered toxic nowadays. It is crazy. It is ludicrous right now. What is going on? What? What the actual hell is going on right now, man? People have entirely too much pride for that sort of thing. They can't possibly admit a mistake. And secondly, they aren't actually in the business of making money. Firewalk, the studio that made Concord, is being propped up by Sony, so they think they can do whatever they want. Therefore, they believe they can be in the business of making propaganda, so they don't care to please gamers. They're trying to appeal to the ideologues while trying to sway people to their side, which is stupid as hell, since these but Tra Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. Tranquilo. Ugly characters aren't appealing to anyone and only serve to drive people away. I see a bit of irony in that, but whatever, I'm gonna leave it there. What do you make? Check this one out. So this is where we had a ton of this uh, go down, right? Like, I wanna show you guys this, man. This is crazy. So Mecha Break, they rejected wokeness, all right? They rejected wokeness. And take a guess right now, right? Because we, we all saw Concord couldn't even pull 2,500 people, right? It's uh, 2,200, 2,300. Let's just say 2,300, right? That's a peak, at least on Steam. I, I suppose on PlayStation, it would be a little bit higher. Now we got this mecha break game with that uh, with that character customization. Take a guess. Take a guess how many people you think are on the game, at least on the Steam, right? Like, yeah, take a guess. You're gonna be surprised. You're gonna be shocked. Check this. Roll it. And it doesn't feel like I get the opportunity to talk about games that I'm actually excited about playing very often. Most yeah. of the time, we have to talk about real stinkers because the industry just keeps pumping out turds. But Mecha Break is an exception. Give me a hell yeah! And I'm certainly not the only one who thinks this way. The beta for the game is out right now. There we go. Oh shit! Oh shit! 51,000 people is the peak, 47,000 being in the last 24 hours, and users that are currently playing, like live at this moment, 22,000 people. And, and it's a it's a small game. It is a small game uh, that many people don't know about it, right? Many people, I, I guess, more people know about this than the Concord, but, but here's the thing. I, I would like to differ. I would I would love to I, I would beg to differ because the thing is that Concord has been crapped on like crazy. Suckers have dropped Shiza on it like crazy, and everybody is talking about Concord because it's a uh, first of all PlayStation. Okay, uh, it's a big IP from big uh, studios. Uh, b PlayStation. I mean, you can not get bigger than PlayStation, right? Uh, of course, if you're Nintendo, then Nintendo is uh, in a different league. I'm, I'm talking about PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo. These are the top big dogs, right? And PlayStation coming out with Concord. So yeah, it's a it's a big title. It's a big deal! It is a big deal! Especially after knowing the fact that a PlayStation was trying super hard to not lose Call of Duty. I mean, rightfully so. They were trying their absolute hardest to not lose it. Makes sense, right? And they were panicking, right? Oh, we don't have any FPS games. F any FPS games. We need FPS games. We need to compete with Call of Duty. And this is what y'all make! 
This is how you're gonna compete with Call of Duty? You suck as crazy! I, I don't even understand it, right? Like, damn, homie, you guys should have made something good to compete with Call of Duty Concord. Bruh, it cannot even last till Black Ops 6 teaser, bro. <laughs> damn, bro, damn, homie. Or I should realistically say I'm exaggerating. It couldn't even last till the beta comes out for, for Black Ops 6 because Black Ops 6 teaser, I believe, came out before Concord, right? I, I could be wrong. But, but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, damn, so this game got all the marketing in the world, whether, I mean, of course, although that be uh, the negative marketing, but it did get many eyeballs on the game a lot of people are aware of it mecha break on the other hand is one of those games that i personally was not aware i'm just finding out about it because this game has this character creation to me <laughs> so yeah it got that and it's uh, the non-woke game and uh, it's getting it's seeing this much success and they've had over 50,000 concurrent players trying Sheesh. the game out because it's just a fun romp, and it absolutely blows away the beta for a game like Concord, which ended a few weeks ago at just a bit over 2,000 players. This is what happens when you let players create their own characters, like they do in Mecha Break, as opposed to forcing ugly trolls onto the gamers, which is of yeah. course what Concord does. And now, Mecha Break has stepped up and done the right thing one more- Amazing season games remove censorship of Donald Trump and Mecha Break, uh, Mecha Break after being called out by Grums, okay? time earning our trust by removing censorship from their game considering how popular this sort of move is making this game and how unpopular that woke shit like concord is it's clear that a path for change is emerging in the gaming industry a new power is rising its victory is at hand <laughs> Okay. But anyways, Mecha Break is decidedly not a game that belongs on that list because they just keep doing everything right. I don't know why it is that these days, the only developers out there with the courage to make games that aren't chock full of woke shit seem to come from China and South Korea, but that's the truth of it. I guess yeah. the cultures of those countries haven't been ideologically captured yet. Yeah, right, like Stellar Blade. And they hated it. When I say they hated it, I mean like the Western journalists, right? The Western, the IGNs and all day. You know, it's crazy. It's ludicrous to me. You guys remember, right? Like when Stellar Blade came out, right? Sick is at IGN, I believe there was one employee, right? That that came out. Let me actually open this one here. Perfect example. They, they said, it, I mean, they were cool with Abby the Brock Lesnar getting his ass cheeks pounded in 4K with ray tracing, but they were not happy with Stellar Blade Eve, right? And the craziest thing here is that IGN was saying... Uh, one of the employees from IGN was saying that if you play Stellar Blade, you're gonna end up beating your wife up. You're gonna end up beating your wife up if you play Stellar Blade. Th th literally, quite literally, what one guy from IGN said. I cannot even compute it. These things are crazy. So Stellar Blade, they hate it, right? And right now, we're also hearing about th this game, right? Uh, Black Myth Wukong. I saw the gameplay and that game looked crazy. That game is looking insane, insanely good, and they have a problem with that too. Why? Because they didn't make the, the main character gay. Yeah, they're not pushing any woke po politics, woke identities, so they have a problem with this game as well. A and they're making stuff up right now. So we have that, and uh, the first Descendant, yeah, so these are like the top three non-woke game. And let's be real, Mecha Break, it, although it has that crazy character creation tool, right? But, but by the looks of it it isn't, it, it isn't even like super crazy of a game it's a decent game and maybe gameplay wise it's actually fun listen i'm not trying to say the game is trash or anything like that i'm just saying the game isn't like crazy good out there but it seems decent and people are loving it and i guess that's all what matters at the end of the day and if you like the game that's brilliant that is amazing and i would say the same thing for concord if even though like people are not liking it i don't like this game this is absolute trash uh, gameplay wise it's it, it this game should have co come out 10 years ago right like for current times this is absolutely an abomination it's a slap on the fans face right but if you but if you like concord hey i got nothing against you right like you like it you like it at the end of the day it's just a video game but uh but but see the situation here is that this game is pushing woke politics like crazy and the game objectively is also bad versus uh mecha break that is not pushing woke politics and they're just simply trying to make the games for the gamers and people are enjoying the gameplay and guess what it's succeeding simple as that people are fed up with it man
yet, like it has been here in the West. But anyhow, Mecha Break was made by Amazing CSUN Games, which is based in China, and the game looks like it will be a blast. There was news that popped up on my Twitter feed the other day that had me rolling my eyes for a minute. It looked like, in the chat for this game, in the chat for Mecha Break, they were censoring one political candidate's name here in the United States, but not his opponents. I'm not going to get into all that stuff here. Frankly, I'm not sure why someone would even want to talk politics on a video game anyway. I think it's bad form to talk about that sort of thing in a space where people are just trying to get some escapism, but I also don't think that censorship is a good idea, and certainly not censorship that has bias against one candidate. But here's yeah. the cool thing. So, Grumps. Y yeah, for example, if you want to just censor Trump, uh, then you guys uh, should also censor the opposite party as well, Kamala and Biden, alright? I'm By the way, I'm in Canada, alright? I'm not in the US, so yeah. I gotta say this, okay? Where my US homies at, though, okay? If you're in the US, I see you, homie, I see you, okay? But I'm just saying, right, if you want to censor Trump, censor them, or censor both. Or, uh, and to be honest, I don't even have that in the game, right? First of all, don't even have politics, but if you're gonna have politics, then have all of it, except for just one side, if that makes sense, because otherwise people are gonna have, uh, it's gonna rub people the wrong way, and uh, of course, uh, people wanna play your game to escape, uh, and people just wanna have fun, bro, like, simple as that, like, you, 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 you know what I'm saying, like, people just wanna have fun, and... Uh, you guys be pushing all that crap, so of course people are not gonna like it. But now apparently they uncensored it, so you know, W for that, I guess. AKA Mark Kern, the former team lead of the OG World of Warcraft, someone told him about this censorship, which he verified himself was happening, and then he reached out to the Mecha Break community manager. And you know what? They got this fixed right away. Grums posted this update to his own tweet saying, Update. After I reported the issue and emailed their community manager, Mecha Break apologizes and says they have fixed the issue in real time. I can confirm I tested it and issue is fixed. Now that is a breath of fresh air coming from these games. Usually, if we bring up an issue like this, they will either deny- One million social credits to you right now! Right now! Yay! We're giving everybody social credits right now! They get it though! They get it though! W man, W C Sun man, W China right there! <laughs> w- I, I mean, W Chinese people? But I'm not gonna say W for the government though. I mean, government is crap like literally everywhere bro. Like literally all the countries got crappy government. For the most part, there's probably like one or two co uh, countries out there with like actual good politician that cares for its people. So there's probably that, but generally speaking, right, like L governments, W people, okay? That's where I stand, man. W people of China, W people, uh, W people working at, uh, W devs working at CSUN making games for the gamers, uh, gamers for the games, or games for the gamers, or gamer devs for the gamers, okay? Yeah, that's the one I wanted to say. Bruh. Like the video if you agree it's happening or ignore us or lecture us about how we should be in favor of censorship because they believe they have the correct opinions and anyone who disagrees with them is evil well not these guys mecha break the people who make that game acts like an actual business and respond to customer complaints when it's reasonable frankly this is so basic that it shouldn't have to be viewed as brilliant yeah. but this day and age that's what it seems like brilliant another you know what that's a good point and, and i guess uh, he put it probably the best way uh because this is exactly what i wanted to say like a couple of minutes ago this game is not impressive and what i really meant was that in comparison to every game that we had during the entire history of mankind being a lie right yeah here we go again right here we go again <laughs> but but yeah it's true though what this game is doing is not doing what majority of the games are doing right now and this is why it's getting praised what i mean by this is not like pushing politics and, and yeah and, and guess what 10 years ago games were not pushing politics Ga apparently devs were gamers and they were making their games for the gamers simple as that and games were uh, nine out of ten times or i should say eight out of ten times the games that would come out back in the days were good nowadays it's like two games out of ten might be good and guess what how they are good you might ask they're just not pushing the woke politics like the rest of the games and publishers are and they succeed they essentially succeed. That's where we at. So this game isn't doing like anything too crazy. It's simply doing what games were doing 10 plus years ago and it's seeing success. Why? Because every other game is trying to push uh, politics and they they call their gamers, audience, toxic and problematic. It's just crazy, man. A bit of brilliance from this game, and the reason that it's beating the shit out of the likes of Concord right now is the character creation mode in Mecha Break. It's a fixed free problem that has been plaguing games for a while now. Most of these jackasses that make modern games purposely force us to use female characters that look like trolls or effeminate little simps for the male characters. A character creation mode that looks like this, what you're seeing in the back 
background solves the problem being created by these woke lunatics. They always complain about representation. That, oh, everyone wants to see themselves in video games. Well, if okay, that's... It, it's too wide, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, damn, homie. Bro, like, yeah. Just make it a little, like, curvy good. But, like, this is... <laughs> You're looking like Kim Kardashian, bro. Like, what the hell? Bro? What people actually want, then they will create it, won't they? But I highly doubt, when given the choice, that there will be many characters that look like this in Mecha Break. This gross troll comes from Concord, which, as I said before, that game only got about 2,400 players to play their free beta a few weeks ago, which is sad since the game releases in a little over a week. But nobody cares about that shit. Nobody is nobody, excited to yeah. play a game that is as blatantly woke as that. Contrast that to Mecha Break, where the characters can look however you want them to look and the difference is staggering. Mecha Break is getting 40 to 50,000 players on their beta and it isn't even due to come out until next year. It is currently ranked 21st on the Steam wishlist chart and I expect that number Holy. will rocket up even more Holy. as it gets closer to launch. For reference, Concord is the 751st most wishlisted game, which is sad as hell for a title that is backed by Sony and due to come out in about a week. It's ranked 5,077 on the top sellers Cheers. chart and once again, that's Cheers. sad as hell. But you know what isn't sad as hell? Black Myth Wukong. <laughs> which is currently the top seller and the top most wishlisted game on and this is why they are trying to cancel the game. I'll link you that video in just a second. Steam. And what does that game have in common with Mecha Break? Well, it is decidedly not woke. They allegedly gave Sweet Baby Inc. the middle finger when Sweet Baby asked to be consultants on the game. And as I said the other day when discussing Black Myth, it doesn't even matter if this is true. The important part is that the developers of the game denounced that woke crap publicly. And the result <laughs> is that gamers are flocking to it. If you ever needed a white pill. Yeah, quite literally flocking to it. Look at these two games. Look at Mecha Break and Black Myth Wukong. Definitive proof that the vast majority of people out there, the vast majority of gamers, just want games to be fun again. But I will leave it there. Have any of you played- Guys, this is that video that I was talking about, Black Myth Wukong. They are trying to cancel this game. The reasons are absolutely pathetic. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Uh, we had like crazy news.